Today I'll be talking about epidural versus subdural hemorrhages. Well, they are both part of intracranial hemorrhages, but there are some differences. Epidural hemorrhage, or also known as extradural hemorrhage, represent bleeding in the extradural space. This means bleeding between bone and dura mater. While subdural hemorrhage represent bleeding below dura mater. Epidural hemorrhage is usually caused by damage to the middle meningeal artery due to temporal bone fracture. So, the source of bleeding is arterial. On the opposite of that, in cases of subdural hemorrhage, the source of bleeding is venous, usually due to laceration of the cortical veins or avulsion of the bridging veins between the cortex and dural sinuses. In cases of epidural hemorrhage, the patient presents with minor blow, followed by brief loss of consciousness, then recovery. After that, the patient suffers from throbbing headache. The patient presents unconscious in cases of subdural hemorrhage, especially in the first 24 hours. On CT scan, epidural hematoma appears as a biconvex hyperdense mass. Subdural hematoma appears as a crescent-shaped hyperdense mass. Subdural hemorrhage is more common and more severe than epidural hemorrhage. Both conditions may need surgical intervention involving craniotomy and by holes for evacuation of hematoma.